It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Raiders in the... Here's the former Auburn kicker, Daniel Carlson, to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback. He has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Car to throw on second down. Escaping the pressure right. He'll find Shahid out to the right. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. He was out there waving his arms. When I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Play action. Now it's Carr. It gets this complete to Shahid. Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. But they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased... And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. And breaking them out is the pocket passer from Purdue, rookie Aiden O'Connell. For every rookie prospect, there are always nerves involved in this moment. Running your team out to start a game. But there's a reason they brought him in. We're willing to make him their starter today. They believe he can overcome those nerves and lead his team to a victory. We saw him do it at the collegiate level and really make himself into a leader and someone you can envision doing the exact same thing here in the NFL. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. A pick up at five that time and a first down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Raiders with the football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. First down, here's White. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The purple is still open for the coordinator. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. First down now, but that clock rolling. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. On the move to his left. It's caught at the 10! It's a big play there for Vegas. 42 yards. And what great recognition between a receiver and his quarterback because he's going to recognize the trouble, and then he has two options. Cut off the route and come back to help, or head straight down the field, and he chooses the latter, and it turns into a huge play. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. They'll try to run it in with a big and he stopped immediately there. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Runs over it. His pass caught with the four. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. O'Connell throwing third and goal. 
That's going to be caught by Carter. Touchdown, Raiders. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that op changes the dynamic of this game. Yeah, in a couple of ways, partner, because they've been shut out up into this point. So now at least they go into the locker room, and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to them a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game, an extra point away from tying things up. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So thanks to the late touchdown, it's a time ball game here heading to break. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. DeAndre Carter returning it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied Charles so as we start the third quarter. Curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. Flushed out right. Let's this go for Renfro downfield. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taken in at the 11. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 27 yards there, a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 47. And quickly they get to the line. Throwing on first down is Carr. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front and it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense has other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They fake the handoff. Now Carr 
sliding out of the pocket. He completes it to Alamo. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. On first and 10, here's Carr. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. 10 yards on the touchdown pass. And the Saints have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. So this game tied at the half, and we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great trip. Offensive coordinator. He had a plan and they executed it almost to perfection. Coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Groupie able to add the PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. And after the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They start to drive with White. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's Raider football here, but they're on the short side of the scoreboard right now as we begin the fourth. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Flush to his right. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Here's O'Connell rolling to his left. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Ah, oh, this defense has been so stingy all game long. No reason to think it's suddenly going to open up now. They took their shot, but this, like many others, falls incomplete. They fights him off. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we're talking about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. They run. Abdullah. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Here now, second and goal. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost him. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. If he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves him out there with another chance. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. I'm pretty sure that that was a passing play, but he took off pretty quickly and ran with it. Love his decisiveness on it because you're exactly right. He was supposed to go back in the pocket and survey the field and throw the football. But when that hole opened, he just said, forget it, let's go. And boy, did that work out well. O'Connell eluding the pressure right. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call, but they've taken the lead by a point late in the game. Uh, boy, you want to talk about guts? Guts is going for two when you're down one in that spot right there. Do they not trust their kicker? Did they not feel that it was time to go ahead and do that? Or did they just say, we've got a play on that we're so confident in, we're going to go ahead and do it? I'm going to say they're going to say that in the press conference. The New Orleans offense set to take over. 
And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down in those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. He's going to let it fly. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Maybe looking for a flag, but they're not going to get one there. They took a shot, hoping to find a way to sneak into field goal range, but it's incomplete. And now with time almost gone, the task gets much more difficult. One final try now for Carr. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of lateral 